1995, when the Sustainable Forest Management Network was first conceived, uh, we were recognizing that Canada had a very large proportion of uh, the boreal forest in the world and that in order to manage those resources sustainably we really had to take into account not only the traditional forestry but the ecology of forest ecosystems, the economies that those forest ecosystems support and the societies that live off those economies. Uh, Canada is often in the spotlight when it comes to the international marketplace. Uh, certainly the international environmental groups uh, are interested in how forestry is practiced in Canada. And so I think it was both the competitiveness issue and the need to improve the environmental performance of the industry that found a, uh, a resonance among the Canadian public and, and more particularly the NCE processes at that time. Well, forest management today aspires to uh, preserve ecological sustainability in forests and to preserve a diversity of values, not just timber values, but aesthetic values, biodiversity values, ecosystem services values, and so we need to have that holistic look and understanding of how the forest functions in order to understand how we can manage it. What's really been exciting about the Sustainable Forest management network is that they have engaged people like myself who live in the forest and of course Aboriginal people that are my neighbors and friends. Over the past 14 years the Sustainable Forest Management Network has made all sorts of advances. The, the, in my mind the critical uh, feature of the network has been the uh, important and powerful partnerships that have been developed, partnerships uh, between researchers, governments, industries, uh, First Nations organizations, Aboriginal organizations and non-governmental organizations. It's not just about individu individual projects happening on the ground, it's about researchers taking a whole body of knowledge and looking at that in terms of what do we know about, for example, mixed wood management. When you engage people, you build trust. And so by working with the researchers right from the onset of developing a research proposal, you get a far better dialogue uh, at that time in understanding each other's issues and problems. And it means that they're looking at their research questions in a different way. It means that they're working directly with partners and trying to cover this, this spectrum of practice as well as science. So you might have a company in, in Quebec and in Alberta and Manitoba working on a project that would benefit not only those three but the network as well. And assisting uh, the forest practitioners whether they be provincial government or whether they be industry uh, to capitalize on the emerging knowledge and incorporate that in their, their resource management practices. A bon exemple de ça c'est le projet uh, initié en 2000 dans la région de la Mauricie au Québec. Uh, par, uh, sous, le, sous la direction uh, de Alison Monson, le Dr. Alison Monson de l'Université Laval, projet qui portait sur uh, les indicateurs d'aménagement forestier durable. Ce projet uh, a contribué uh, significativement à, à la sélection, au choix des indicateurs qui ont été utilisés ou qui étaient requis pour la certification de ce territoire-là selon la norme uh, CSA Z809 d'aménagement forestier durable. Alors, l'initiative euh, Triade en Mauricie se déroulait sur euh, l'unité d'aménagement forestier 4251, euh, qui est celle qui a été l'objet d'une certification CSA Z809. I think one of the things that we try to do within the Alberta uh, Sustainable Resource Development is to provide really good receptor capacity. And that receptor capacity means being receptive to what's going on elsewhere and bringing it back. And because of work that's been done in other provinces, uh, we're able to take those lessons through the network and bring them back to Ontario. And there's lots of evidence that mixed wood forests have ecological advantages in terms of preserving species and also some ecological advantages in terms of maintaining site productivity over time. After a single homogeneous kind of harvest, you homogenize the forest. So what we're doing now instead is we're actually understanding what that variation gives us and how we can actually use variation provided at harvest to set forests up in that way. Je, je pense que la recherche qui, qui amène de, de livres c'est très important parce que ça nous relève euh, du fait qu'il y, y a beaucoup de, de vieilles forêts qui s'en est seulement euh, dans la forêt boréale, euh, surtout dans l'est de l'Amérique du Nord. Et ça, c'est quelque chose euh, qu'on ne devrait pas juste avoir un aménagement équien, mais penser à d'autres types d'aménagements qui 
qui représente ces, ces vieilles forêts, d'autres types de perturbations qui sont en train de dynamiser ces forêts. Je pense qu'actuellement, le, le livre arrive à un bon moment parce qu'il y a des nouveaux programmes en gestion durable des forêts qui sont en train d'être développés dans toutes les universités. Un des projets dont je suis le plus fier est vraiment le projet Triade, qui constitue un projet qu'on appelle de zonage fonctionnel, où on essaie de rassembler différents joueurs qui ont des objectifs complètement différents pour essayer de voir si on est capable de balancer nos besoins écologiques, sociaux, économiques sur un même territoire. Donc, le principe et le sens du mot triade, c'est qu'on prend un territoire, dans ce cas-ci, c'est vraiment un territoire réel de 1 million d'hectares euh, au centre du Québec et aussi dans des endroits où ils vont avoir le moins d'impact négatif. Et cette façon de faire-là semble vraiment satisfaire euh, tous les intervenants. En fait, le projet de ses alliés environnementalistes, forestiers, économistes, de faire une avancée assez euh, importante au niveau politique, puisque le gouvernement du Québec a annoncé dans son dernier euh, énoncé politique sur le changement du régime forestier du Québec que la triade ou le zonage fonctionnel serait appliqué sur l'ensemble du Québec. Donc, euh,